It's summer, and once again, E3 is upon us. And every year, games both big and small, as well as technology, make their debut at E3. Hey Shackers, Greg here, and today I'm counting down the games I want to see or play at this awesome event. Now I know a lot of companies have backed out. Some have even said this or that won't be seen at the show, but that doesn't always mean they won't announce something. After all, the best part of E3 are the surprise announcements. So let us sit back and see what I'm wishing and hoping to play and see at this year's E3 2016. Alright, who put the stick of truth in the toilet? That is not funny, this is a holy relic! <laughs> I'm a huge fan of Stick of Truth. It was funny, well written, and even though the gameplay was fairly basic and the world fairly limited, it was still a riot to play through. We've had very little information since last year's E3. Let's hope that Stan, Cartman, Kyle, and Kenny return to show us what has been improved upon with the sequel. South Park, the fractured butthole. <laughs> now available for pre-order. Yeah, everyone pre-order, that's a good idea. Shut up, butters! Another year of hoping. However, this year, Nintendo's flagship franchise is much lower on this list for me. The company has been making some odd changes, and have started to pursue the mobile space, but that still doesn't stop me from wanting to experience a new Zelda title on the Wii U or the new NX. What is it? A mobile device? Phone? Tablet? TV? We absolutely have no clue. Nintendo is known for letting out information in tiny tidbits at a time. Annoyingly so. But let us hope we see a glimpse of what the famous video game company has come up with this year at E3. Last year I was hoping for a hands-on or at least some more information. So far, we know it's a new entry in the franchise and won't feature the famous Shepard as the main protagonist. Chances are your shipmates from the series will be in it, perhaps some more than others. But I still want to see if EA has addressed the criticisms in which the franchise was heading in. I personally want more RPG, less Gears of War. series trilogy came to an end befitting to the Batman Arkham series. However, where will the new games go from here? I'm sitting over here ready to scream like a 12 year old girl if they make a Batman Beyond Arkham game. God, that would be amazing. That's just one of the best cartoons of all time. This year, the public got a taste of consumer VR, with both the Oculus and Rift headsets. Now this year, I expect to see the platform evolving, from games to entertainment. We now need to move away from demo-like experiences and get to the core of VR games. I also look forward to see what Xbox and PlayStation reveal for VR this year at the show. Treasures unknown. The amount of hype this game is generating is amazing, but we want to actually play it this year. The recent announcement of the game being delayed really sucks, but it will most likely be playable at the show floor, or even behind closed doors. However, more information and more gameplay videos would be acceptable as well. I've had enough of the re-releases, remixes, and now with the announcement of Kingdom Hearts 2.8. Just release the f***ing game already! Or give us more information about it. Like, what characters and worlds we'll visit. Kingdom Hearts 3 has been a long time coming, and unless they start to give us more, I fear the fanbase is going to get annoyed at the lack of information Square is providing. 
I know I am. So the Elder Scroll games are amazing, well, aside from Elder Scrolls Online. And Skyrim has to be one of my favorite games of all time. And with the leak of the remastered Skyrim coming out, I want to know more. What is it? Higher res graphics? Updated game engine? New quests? Spells? Is this game a precursor to Bethesda announcing the next chapter in the Elder Scrolls series? One can only speculate, but I certainly hope so. waiting but feels like decades. But now, 19 years later, the Final Fantasy VII Remake is a reality. There have been trailers and more recently gameplay, but of course we want more. What's the combat system feel like? What do the voices sound like? How do you make a game that originally had dozens of hours of open world gameplay into segmented pieces? These are questions every fan wants to know. I pray to Odin, Shiva, and the other summoned deities that we will get more info, and hopefully even a hands-on with this famous remake of the 1997 classic. What video games do you guys want at E3? Let us know in the comments below. For more videos like this and everything else gaming related, you're already in the right place. You're on ShackNews.com.